viewers to the second episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 internal science paper 1 which is physics so the first episode covered the multiple choice section of this paper so if you haven't seen the first episode please check out on our youtube channel so let us start with question b1 from section b where you are expected to answer all the nine questions and this section carries 45 marks out of 85 hence it is important that you revised on questions that comes from this section because once you ask this section you have bigger chance of getting a distinction which will help you to get to your dream job so question b1 leads figure b1.1 below shows a simple pendulum suspended from a fixed point so we have the pendulum as shown in figure b1.1 the bulb is slightly put to position a and then raised so we are pulling it to b then we are raising it back to move freely then question a state one factor that does not affect the period of the pendulum so the most common answer which is known is the mass of the bulb so the mass of this one does not affect the period of the pendulum but the question is you might be asked to give two so if you ask to give two what do you give so you can give the material of the pendulum bulb so the material from which this bulb is made will not affect the period of the pendulum number two in addition to this one is in the amplitude how far you pull this one from the resting position whether you see this one it will not affect the period of the pendulum because what will happen is eventually you are going to find the average time so it will normalize when you find that average time there will be a constant time that you are going to find whether you put it here or that it will not be affected by how far you put it away because the period of the pendulum only is affected by the gravitational or acceleration due to gravity then also the length of the string as long as the string is the same it will not be affected so the other way you can be asked is what factors affecting the period of the pendulum so the period of the pendulum is inversely proportional to the gravitation or acceleration due to gravity then secondly the period of the pendulum is direct proportion to the length of the string so the longer the string the longer will be the period of the pendulum the higher the gravitational due to gravity the shorter will be the period of the pendulum that's where the inverse is coming in so take note of those key points once you know those points you will be able to answer any question on the pendulum let us look at question b if the values of time for 20 oscillations obtained where we have 16.1 seconds 15.9 seconds 16 seconds 16.2 seconds and 15.80 seconds calculate the period of the pendulum so we need to find the period of the pendulum so in this case we know that we have how many oscillations 20 then we get different values to do 20 oscillations so now what we need to do is to find the period of the pendulum so what is the period of the pendulum so this is the time taken by the pendulum to finish one full oscillation so that is for this bulb to move from a to be then back to the resting position that's the period that time it takes so to find the period we need to know the average time which is the average time it takes then we divide by the number of oscillations then you would have found the period of the pendulum so let us find the average time so we are going to add this the average times this one we add so it will be 16.1 plus 
15.9 plus in we have 16 then plus in we have 16.2 then plus in we have 15.8 then we divide how many are these they are 1 2 3 4 5 so we divide by 5 when we add this we are going to get in 18 seconds then we divide by 5 this is going to give us in 16 seconds so 16 seconds is in the average time so having known the average time we can easily find now the period so what we do is 16 divided by 20 because we are doing 20 oscillations then we are going to get 0 0.8 seconds so this is the period of the pendulum once you do this you are good to go so we just found this to be 0 0.80 seconds Question C, calculate the frequency of the pendulum. So, what's the relationship between the frequency and the period? So, frequency is equal to 1 over period. So, there is an inverse relationship between the frequency and the period of the pendulum. So, just from finding the period of the pendulum to be this one, so to find them, the frequency it will be just 1 divided by 0 0.8 seconds so we are going to get 1.25 as so this is the answer so once you do that you get these 60 marks so it's important that you take time to look at him other questions that we've done on our youtube channel on the pendulum so there is a playlist on our youtube channel that is dedicated to questions on the pendulum so check out on our youtube channel if you are new please consider subscribing and if you find this video to be helpful consider liking it and sharing it with your friends so thank you for joining me on this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b